Thank you to our MC tonight, Sanjit, uh, our host for the forum tonight, Hana, uh, my colleagues, Gobin, Tony, and also Wadi Kali Samad. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming all the way to Subang Jaya tonight. Uh, first of all, I think all of, you, all of us here, we must thank the CM of Sarawak, Adnan Sadin. Because it's not because of him, we would not be able to have a forum here tonight. If not because he bar me for entry, he, he bar Hana for entry, he bar Godin, he bar Tony, he bar Kambi Samad. I believe that today, all of us, or most of us, will be busy campaigning in Sarawak. And we not, we will not come here and to talk to you and to see you. So I think first of all, ladies and gentlemen, since the people in Sarawak can also hear the live telecast of the forum tonight here in Subang Jaya, shall we give a round of applause to the CM of Sarawak for doing this type of stupid things in the world. It's so stupid, isn't it? Do I look like a threat to anyone? Do I look like a criminal? Like Hannah just mentioned to you, I'm six months pregnant, okay? If I enter Sarawak today, and if I did anything wrong, if the police come and say they want to thumb up me, I tell you, honestly speaking, I won't even try to run. I will just say, you want to look for Tony Ching? Ah? Here I am, here I am, silly, silly. How to run with a tummy like that? I think here my tummy is only smaller than Gobin. Ah. Because mine is six months pregnant. Ah. I think Gobin is about eight months. Ah. <laughs> so, how to run with a tummy like that, ladies and gentlemen? But yet, okay, I was about to enter Bintulu. I took the last flight from KRA to, to Bintulu on the 8th of April. Parliament finished on the 7th. So I flew to Sarawak on the 8th to start some preparation and campaigning in Bintulu. Once I enter the immigration or the airport building, I can see that there are two immigration officers standing there already. At that point of time, yes, this talk came to me. Were they, are they waiting for me? Were they waiting for me? But I think cannot be. La. I'm not as famous as Tony Puama. Huh? Isn't that? Tony Pua, Hamtan, Rosma, and Najib, and Jolo every day. I did, ma. Right. Uh, Gobin, indeed, la. Look, sangat ganas, la. Right. Look at his picture. Oh, you so ganas. Kena ba also, I think he deserve it, la. So I'm just a small lady like this, pregnant woman. Why they want to stop me? But it only took them a few seconds, I would say, or maybe a few minutes to identify me and to come to me and say, sorry, Madam Tio, I think you know why we are here. The officer were very polite, okay? So I don't want to complain about them because all the way in this 20 minutes conversation, they treat me very well. They were very polite, okay? The only thing I feel that I'm luckier than Hana is uh, they bought the ticket for me. La. <laughs> I think it's because I took Air Asia. I took Air Asia, I took the normal seat. But Adina Sati and I, he bought me the hot seat, you know. Wah. Not every time we travel, we travel by hot seat. For DAP, MPs and others, uh, we usually just take the normal seat. Uh. But Adina and I, he bought me the hot seat. Uh. Honestly speaking, if I, 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 he asked me to pay 1000 pounds for my ticket. I'm dying, man. I need to sleep there. I don't have 1000 plus in my wallet. I don't know why, Hana, you carry 1000 too in your wallet. Subang Jaya so safe. Why you carry 1000 too in your wallet? Normally in my wallet, I only have one to 200 ringgit. Honestly speaking. Because to me, I really had all these bad experience. I don't want to carry a lot of cash with me. So if they ask me to pay for my own ticket, I need to pay for not to talk about 100. 1,000 ringgit, 1,000 ringgit. If you ask me to, you know, give them 500 ringgit to buy my own ticket, I say, you need to allow me to go in to beg for some money first, lah, before I can return home. So ladies and gentlemen, what did we do that deserve this type of treatment? Hannah, 
she represents an institution. She is the speaker, she is the speaker of Selangor Assembly. Okay? Gobi, we talked about him already. So. Tony Pua, obviously, look at the picture. He is a model for Kogit. Right? He is a model for Kogit. Why you need to buy him for entry? And I think Rafizi and my friend Kali Samad, they all look like future minister lah, to me. They all look like future ministers. Lah. That's why they are bar. You are right. That's why they are bar. Ladies and gentlemen, is Adnan Satin indeed different from the rest of Barisan national leaders? We are having a tough fight in Sarawak. Very difficult. Very difficult. Of course, um, I still have confidence in my party in, in DAP. But I do not lie to you to say that there is zero risk or there is no risk at all for DAP to lose our own seat. It is possible. Actually, our DAP parliamentary leader, Lin Kip Siang, already said. What did he say? He said, there is the possibility that DAP might lose seven of our urban seats. It's not totally impossible, you know. Because Adiman Sadin, he is very popular in Sarawak. His approval rating in Sarawak is sky high. 81%. You look at Najib. Najib's support is only 20 plus, yet he is still the, he's the Prime Minister of the country. Adiman Sadin, his approval rating is 81%. Who are the Barisan National leaders you can think of? That is still so supported by the people. I cannot think of anyone else. So we indeed have an uphill battle in Sarawak. It's not easy. And this time I said, this type of thinking appears in the mind of Sarawakians. They think that Tai Mahmoud indeed, they think they dislike Tai Mahmoud, they think he is very corrupted, but they think Adina Satin is different. And therefore, he deserves a chance. But is it true? Is it true? Is it true that Adina Satin is different from the rest of Barisan national leaders? Okay. First of all, Taik Mahmoud never barred me from entry, for entering Sarawak. Never. Taik Mahmoud never barred Hana to enter Sarawak, to stop her from attending a church activity. Never. But you might say, that's because of politics. You are different, uh, because you are a politician and therefore you can uh, The rest of the normal riot, rather than, uh, except one or two uh, very special cases mentioned by Hana a while ago, that her intern, a mother to a babies, few, few months babies, was refused or was ordered to leave Sarawak by fifth of way. Is Adina Satin indeed different from the rest of the Barisan national leaders? My answer would be no, ladies and gentlemen. Would be no. Actually, I feel quite sad. I feel very sad during this Sarawak election. I feel sad not because I was barred for entry. It's okay. I cannot enter Sarawak. But every day, uh, Tony, myself, and a few other colleagues who cannot enter Sarawak, we still operate from the AP headquarters every day in Kuala Lumpur. You know that every 9 p.m., we have this Skype uh, live telecast drama to various places in Sarawak. So we still try our best to send our message across to the people in Sarawak. But one thing really, really upset me and disturbed me is this. In the uh, general elections, the usual tactic that will be raised by AMNO, by Marisa National, is that this is a fight between Malay and non-Malay. Am I right? Am I right? Always, our Barisa National, especially AMNO leader, will say that you must vote for AMNO. Kalau tidak, 
orang Melayu akan hilang kuasa. Betul tak? And then MCA will also come to tell you, Chinese voter, ah, don't believe EAP, don't believe their sweet talk. If you don't support MCA, ah, later the cabinet has no Chinese representative. Am I right? MCA also will say the same thing lah. Gerakan, I don't know what they will say lah. <laughs> Because they are, they are not really significant or not really important these days. But I'm saying is this. During the general election, the usual tactic used by Ranista National will be revive, divide and rule. Amno people will tell their crowds that you must support Amno. Kalau tidak, orang Melayu akan hilang kuasa. MCA will do the same thing. MIC will do the same thing. And that's why, after we independence, regain the independence for so many years, many people feel that. Malaysia as a country, we are more divided rather than we are getting more and more united. And now, Barisan National basically is using the same tactic in Sarawak. Is using the using Adonai Satin is using the same tactic in Sarawak. He is telling the people. I bar Tony, I bar Tony Pa for entry. I bar Gobi Singh for entry. I order Ling Guan Ying to leave by 5th of May. I order Azmin Ali to leave by 5th of May because we Sarawakians, we want our own autonomy. And these people, they are West Malaysians. They are bad guys. They are bad people. And therefore, Adiman Salim said proudly, "Yeah, I'm using my power to protect the people of Sarawak." So he again, he is trying to divide and rule again in order to gain support. Actually, we all know that he is going to be the CM for next five years, lah. As I said just now, his approval rating is 81 percent. Who is there to bring him down? Ah, huh? Naji with 20 over percent approval rating, he is still our PM. Who can bring now a CM with 81 percent approval rating? But in order to win more support, Adina Sadin is used is using this type of dirty tactics again. Try to create, try to differentiate between Kuching or between Sarawakians and West Malaysians. Is it fair? Is it healthy? Is it really good for the nation? I'm not challenging the autonomy of Sarawak here, ladies and gentlemen. Please get me right. We signed an agreement in the year 1963, okay, when we formed Malaysia. Sabah, Sarawak, and at that point in time, Singapore, Singapore, Malaya, we signed an agreement. So, yes, indeed, there are certain privileges, there are certain autonomy given to Sarawak. We respect that. It's not a problem for DAP to accept and respect that. Instead, instead, my colleagues from Sarawak, DAP Sarawak, has been the people championing for the autonomy of Sarawak, not only in the State Assembly, but also in the Parliament. So in the parliament, when we talk about Sarawak autonomy, one of the demand is this. Sarawak, they demand 20% oil royalty. We think it's fair. We think it's fair. Especially when we all know that Sarawak is one of the poorest states in Malaysia. So it's not a problem for DAP to support that. Instead, DAP Sarawak is one of the first party who raised the issue and said that 20% of the oil royalty should be returned to Sarawak. It's raised by us in the parliament. And then, later on, Adiman Sadin actually passed a motion in the Sarawak State Assembly and where all the state assembly persons 
from the Barisa National and also from the opposition, including the APPKL, all support the motion in the Starwa State Assembly. By today, until today, did Sarawak get back their 20% oil royalty? Did they? No. No. And who is the tumble block? Who is hindering them from getting this 20% oil royalty? Is it because of DAP? Is it because of Tony Pua or Gobin Singh? Or is it because of Kali Samad? Because we MP, we did not support it in the parliament? No. No. If indeed this motion is brought out in parliament and we have the chance to debate it, I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, DAP, all the MPs from DAP and Amana, uh, I believe Pakat, uh, uh, PKL, we will vote for it, we will support it fully. But why? Sarawak until today cannot still not yet get their 20% oil royalty. It's all because of Najib, isn't it? Basically, if Najib said yes, Sarawak can get it back immediately. But yet, Adin and Sadin, he choose to ban me, choose to ban Hana, but he welcome Najib and his whole cabinet to have their cabinet meeting in Kuchi. In Kuchi. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, Sarawak is the one of the poorest state in Malaysia. Najib went to Sarawak and he said this a few days ago. He has the cheek to say this. I really cannot imagine. How thick is his face? I think even C4 would have any insight on him. He has the cheek to say that. He said, he wish Sarawak will be as developed as Peninsula. And our DPN, Zahid, also said this today or yesterday. He said, in a few years' time, Sarawak will be one of the most developed states in Malaysia. My friends, I don't care whether you are coming from, you are from Peninsula or from Sarawak. Do you want to believe their words? Can you believe their words? I will say this, if not because of UMNO, if not because of Barisa National, Sarawak should have been the most developed state in the whole Malaysia. So tonight, I want to send this message to my friends, to my friends in Sarawak, or the Sarawakians working here. Yes, I know, Sarawak has been shortchanged. DAP has never denied this fact. Actually, in the year 2014, 2012, I think, we already put out a Binturu Declaration where we has actually put forward our plan, our promises for Sarawak. But I'm saying this, yes, one would admit the fact that Sarawak has been shortchanged. But because of that, simply because of that, don't put the blame squarely on each and every West Malaysian because it's not fair to do so. We care about Sarawak. All of you here, I believe you care about Sarawak, am I right? I got friends from Sarawak. One of my best friends since high school, she married to the guy from Kuching. Zhong Chen DAP Sarawak chairman, is my good colleague in parliament. And my husband, in this coming September, he as a government servant, he is a doctor, he feel that it's time for him to go to the interior area in Sarawak to serve the people. So maybe this, Sarawak, uh, this September he will go there. The reason he told me is this, uh, he think that as a doctor, uh, he, he, it's time for him to go to the interior area to serve the people. But I suspect uh, the real reason is because the third baby coming in August. <laughs> Want to run away from the baby's wife. <laughs> 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 yeah.
Yeah, don't, don't let him hear that. Uh. Otherwise, he will kill you later. <laughs> so, no, so, so we all care about Sarawak. Tony Pua himself has raised so much funds to do Impian Sarawak project. Okay, like, Pijia Utara is very rich. Like, he doesn't need to raise this much of fun for himself or his constituency. Instead, he can use his time to play golf, isn't it? Or dig more scandal about Rosma and Paul and uh, Yolo and also Najib. But he spent a lot of time to raise money to carry out the Impian Sarawak projects to help the people in Sarawak, in all the rural areas. Tonight, we are here listening to the dramas, to the speeches, in a very comfortable home. We got electricity, we got light, we got fair, we even got aircon. But you know, some of my colleagues contending in Sarawak now, no, there's no route, okay? You know, Miss, uh, the YB Ling Kip Siang, Mr. Ling Kip Siang, he took three hours by, by car and then another three hours by boat in order to reach a place called Gapi. I'm not sure how many of you heard about this, heard about this place. Three hours by car, and Bangpi Road, huh? it's not the North South Highway uh, where we complain got traf terrible jam. I think jam doesn't really happen that frequently in the rural area in Sarawak. All they got is the bumpy route. Or if they got the route, it's actually uh, quite good already. Lah. Three, another three hours travel by boat. Why be Ling Kip Siang, 75 years old this year. I got so many other colleagues helping our DAP campaign, uh, candidates campaigning, uh, helping our DAP candidates in Sarawak now. Where? There is no electricity or there is no 24 hours water supply. Bye, right, ladies and gentlemen. I think you are here tonight and you are actually converted already. Lah. You are already DAP or Pakatan supporter already. But we need your help to help us send the message to more, to more people. Yes, it is a tough fight in Sarawak. But we still have confidence because in the past five years, we have done so much, so many projects in the rural area. This round, DAP Sarawak, we feel 31 candidates. 31 candidates. We got lawyers as usual. We got accountant as usual. We got doctor. We got nurse or this profession. I think it's not something unusual. But do you know, do you know, out of these 31 candidates, we have an ex-special branch officer. Ex-special branch officer becoming a DAP candidate. Can you imagine and can you believe that? We have a magistrate, retired already, of course. We have a retired magistrate contesting in this Sarawak state election under DAP ticket. And not only that, the biggest surprise is this. Taik Mahmud, the ex-CM of Sarawak, his political secretary is also now a DAP candidate. sure that these kind of things will happen in Peninsula so soon or not, but it's happening in Sarawak. So I do believe that in the rural area of Sarawak, people also want to see changes. People also can feel the stress, the burden bring to them by GST. So what we need from you tonight it's not just your attendance tonight. We really appreciate that. But I hope you can help us to persuade, to persuade your friends, anyone you know from Sarawak, to go back and vote against Adina Satin on this 7th of May. Because it's useless. 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 It's use
talking, 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 talking. And later on, Tony Pa will show you some very nice videos. But eventually, we go back, sleep. Tomorrow, work out. Go to work. Shock sendiri sahaja lah, ladies and gentlemen. Then we call it shock sendiri sahaja lah. Or we become a keyboard warrior. Wow, every day we complain this, complain that. Scold Najib, scold Rosma. Wow, scold everyone. But we need to we need to channel our anger, channel our unhappiness, and we hope we can really, through our concerted effort, we can bring some changes in this Sarawak state elections, and hopefully in two years' time, we will be able to see a bigger changes happen in Putrajaya and also in Malaysia. Thank you.